Hey, how's everybody doing? This is Eric from EFIT Mental and Physical Fitness for Your Conscience. Um, I came out, well, first let me start off by saying I was inside, but I came out tonight because I decided that I really wanted to, you know, uh, get some exercising because I ha hadn't done a whole lot today. So I said, let me come out and do some HIT. Stands for high intensity interval training, which it can be done in a couple of ways, but I decided to do some sprints, some wind sprints, you know. Uh, <laughs> as some of you all know, who have been keeping up with the channel and uh, the few videos that I have that uh, I turned 50 this year and um, you know my goal is to be very very fit at 50 and uh, you know I'm doing a good job of it so far but uh, I just wanted to like talk to you guys today about you know staying motivated and um, and actually developing some self-mastery skills, you know, because uh, out here in life, what we do in our mind, we're going to do in life. So, you know, um, the biggest challenge and the biggest battle that we will have in life is with our minds. And... Um, you know, and with our minds, you know, uh, we have to really, really train our minds to be and to do. Oh, sorry about that. You got, got this car coming by, some car lights coming on. But uh, anyway, we have to really, really train our minds and our bodies to, you know, to work in coordinates with one another and um, to be in agreement with one another. So what you make up in your mind, you send signals to your body so your body can carry out that task. And um, I thought about this today. You know, a lot of times when we're doing things in life, you know, I've heard a lot of people always ask, well, why this and why that? And, you know, as far, let me speak first on, on weight loss. As far as weight loss and uh, getting in shape and being fit goes, um, the thing is, is that we don't often realize is that, you know, we're asking questions like, well, why is it that, uh, why is it that I have a fat gene? Why is it that I can eat the littlest thing and then I gain weight? Why is it that that somebody else can eat a whole bunch of stuff and never gain weight and look and look great? Why is it that you know my brain works like this? Why can't I? retain information like this person and you know they hardly ever study and they get straight A's in school and it's like that you know I had often found myself asking these why questions and and things like this because me myself you know I was never a school guy you know but somehow I you know I never really thought I was the sharpest tool in the shed but somehow I found myself you know, thinking that, well, hey, you know, uh, if I could possibly graduate from college, then, man, this would mean I would have achieved something. Maybe I would be seen as smart. So I, uh, I grudgefully dug my way through college, you know, uh, through my undergrad. And I hated every minute of it, you know, because um, I'm just not a school guy. And then I found myself at 40 47, 46, 47, going through grad school for psychology, and 
and I just barreled away at it. I barreled away, I barreled away, but I just made up in my mind that, you know, I was going to do the very best that I could. So I stayed up late, you know, 2.30 in the morning writing papers. And finally, when I graduated, you know, I graduated with a with a 3.8 something and uh, close to a 4.0. And I was so proud of myself because I thought, wow, okay, now I have these two degrees. This kid who, who wasn't smart at all was, wow, and I you know, man, so I've done this, you know, I feel like Superman, but, you know, when you see the degrees and you look back at all you've done, that stuff, you know, it soon fades off, and you say, well, wow, okay, this is cool, but it, the gratification was not sustained, you know, and, um, and, and then you're still asking yourself the why questions, there's still more why questions. So what I'm saying is that for those of you all with the why questions and comparing, because I I was one, you know, I got caught up in that trap of comparing myself to other people and life situations and this and that. And, you know, I want to tell you that if you turn those questions around and, and, and you ask the questions a different way, in a positive light that will maybe give you some positive results. So maybe instead of saying, why, uh, why is it that I can never lose weight? I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, but why can I ever lose? Why don't you turn that question around and say, man, why is it that my body always seems to stay in such great shape? Why is it that that my mind is so sharp? Why am I so intelligent? Why do I grasp things things and retain things at at lightning speed and I can regurgitate them on tests like it's nothing? Why? So turn those why questions around. Put them into a positive nature, a positive light. And you'll see that your brain will start to give you positive results because your brain wants to answer those questions, right? But you're just not asking the right, you're not asking the right questions and you're not asking the right questions the right way. So your brain can figure it out and give you, because if you say, well, why is it that that I'm always capable of losing weight so quickly and getting my body in the best of shape whenever I want it to be? Your brain will answer that question. And to answer that question, your brain has to show you the results to answer that question. Then when you say, why is it that I always gain weight and I'm more your brain is going to answer that question by giving you the results of that question by letting you gain more weight. Okay? So what I'm saying here is, from a universal standpoint, the universe is going to always give you what you ask for. It only knows one language. As my man um, from We Are Creators talks about Justin... He talks about all the time, which I love his stuff. Uh, any of you guys get a chance who haven't checked this channel out, we are creators. Check it out. It's, it's awesome stuff, awesome content. But, um, yeah, he talks about, you know, that the universe only has one answer. It answers yes to everything. Yes. It gives you what you ask for and what you really really want from a subconscious level so we need to start to turn those questions those why questions around um as far as if you want to meet your fitness goals your life goals if you want to master something in life whatever your aspirations are start asking the right questions all right this is just a little tip 
from Eric EFIT, training your mind, training your body, training your consciousness. So um, let's all hang in there together and let's all help each other, give each other tips, encouragement, and let's grow together. Until we meet again in the next video, love you guys. Peace.